In a joint research project, scientists at the University of Manchester and Lancaster University have manufactured and tested the world's first atomic fingerprints. Nanoscale tags that could create a unique ID for just about any item we use and make them hack and fraud proof. When a person wants to authenticate something, they often use their fingerprints. And this is because uh, a person's fingerprints are completely unique to them. Okay? Now, the problem with fingerprints is that you can't use them to identify anything. You can only use them to identify yourself. So what you do is you create electronic devices that can be used to, to behave like a fingerprint, so each one is different. Now, the problem with this is that they kind of can be cloned and simulated, and they're not, that, they're not that great. So what we did is take this and take it right down to the atomic level and use the imperfections on this level to uniquely identify systems. The researchers used this molecular beam apitaxy reactor in the Sackville Street building to manufacture the device, which was then analysed and tested in Lancaster. These uh, uh, particular devices uh, have uh, very, very tiny, just uh, one to two atomic layers, uh, thick uh, barriers. And at such small uh, dimensions, uh, quantum physics kicks in. And it is uh, a particular quantum law, which is called the quantum tunneling, uh, that allows the electrons uh, to simply cross the barrier, just like uh, Kitty from the X-Men. Can, she can go through walls. Well, electrons can go through the barrier. When this happens, uh, we can record uh, a tiny current. And uh, this electrical current uh, is absolutely unique because uh, it depends uh, uniquely on the arrangement of the individual atoms in this barrier. This is uh, what really makes uh, this device uh, uh, act uh, uniquely as an atomic fingerprint. Though research into atomic fingerprinting is at an early stage, it's already clear that the technology has huge industrial potential. This technology has a range of applications, uh, and now the obvious ones for this are kind of authenticating phones uh, and tablets and computers and things like this. But you can also think about uh, self-driving cars, uh, wearable technology, medical patches. Now, if you think about this technology being hacked in terms of medical patches or self-driving cars, if anyone hacked into this system and kind of pretended to be authentic, this could cause real problems in terms of endangering people's lives. Uh, so this technology is really, really important in those areas. In order to be able to cater for all those industries, researchers now have to work to improve upon the first atomic fingerprints using different building materials. The key to their success is quantum mechanics and the audacity to use it. Adam Farkash, that's Manchester.